Welcome to the video tutorial on the big switch to Linux. Now that you have installed Linux, it is time to make the big switch from your Windows or the Mac operating system. Mac OS uses a Unix core. Your switch from Mac OS to Linux will be relatively smooth. It's the Windows users who will need some adjusting. In this tutorial, we will introduce the Linux operating system and compare it with Windows. Starting with file system, in Microsoft Windows, files are stored in folders under different data drives like C, D, E. But in Linux, files are ordered in a tree structure starting with the root directory. This root directory can be considered as the start of the file system and it further branches out various other subdirectories. The root is denoted with a forward slash. A general tree file system on your Linux system may look like this. Moving on to the types of files, in Linux and Unix everything is a file. Directories are files, files are files and the devices like printer, mouse, keyboard etc. are all files. The first type of files are general files also called ordinary files. They can contain image, video, program or simply text. They can be in ASCII or a binary format. These are the most commonly used files by Linux users. Next are the directory files. These files are a warehouse for other file types. You can have a directory file within a directory. You can take them as folders found in Windows operating system. Here, the difference between Linux and Windows becomes significant. In Windows, system and program files are usually saved in the drive C. But in Linux, you would find the system and program files in different directories under the file system. Same is the case with CD-ROM. While we see it as a drive in Windows, it is a directory named as CD-ROM in Linux. Removable media files are also shown as a drive in Windows, whereas in Linux they are a directory. Common programs in Windows are stored in the program files. In Linux you would find them under the bin directory. The last type is the device files. In Microsoft Windows, devices like printers, CD-ROM and hard drives are represented as drive letters like D, E, G, H. In Linux, they are represented as files. For example, if the first SATA drive had three primary partitions, they would be named as the file systems that you can see on the screen. It is important to note here that all the device files reside in the def directory. All of these file types, including the devices, have permissions which allow a user to read, edit or execute them. This is a powerful Linux or Unix feature. Access restrictions can be applied for different kinds of users by changing permissions. Let us discuss user accounts in Linux. The first type is the regular user. A regular user account is created for you when you install Ubuntu on your system. Or your files and folders are stored in Home Guru 99, which is your home directory. As a regular user, you do not have access to directories of other users. Other than regular user, another user account called root is created at the time of installation. The root account can access restricted files, install software and has administrative privileges. It is also called the super user. Whenever you want to perform any administrative task on Linux, you need to log in as a root user. The third type is the service user. Linux is widely used as a server operating system. Services such as Apache, Squid have their own individual service accounts. Having services accounts increases security of your computer. It is important to note here that you will not see service accounts in Ubuntu desktop version but only in the Ubuntu server edition. Regular accounts are also called standard accounts in Ubuntu desktop. Let us move on to file name convention. In Windows, you cannot have two files with the same name in the same folder. If the second file with the same name is created, you would get an error. 
While in Linux, you can have two files with the same name in the same directory provided they use different cases. For every user in Linux, a directory is created under the home directory. Now consider a regular user Guru99. He can store his personal files and directories in the directory home Guru99 but he cannot save files outside his user directory and does not have access to directories of other users as well. The concept is similar to the users folder found in Windows. For every user in Linux, a directory is created as home the username. When you boot the Linux operating system, your user directory home guru99 is the default working directory. Hence, the directory home guru99 is also called the home directory which is a misnomer. The working directory can be changed using some commands which we will learn later. Let's summarize. Unix or Linux uses a hierarchical file system. There are no drives in Linux unlike Windows. Peripherals like hard drives, CD-ROM, printers are also considered files in Unix or Linux. There are three types of user accounts, the first one being regular, second one root and the third one is service account. Root user is the super user and has all the administrative privileges. Linux file naming convention is case sensitive. Thus, sample and sample are two different files in Linux or Unix operating system. For every user, home, username, directory is created which is called his home directory. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next ones.